Hello children. In today's class of practical geometry, I'll be showing you how to construct a line parallel to a given line through a point, not on the line. Okay, so let's start. Now I'll be showing you this method. Now parallel line can be constructed using two concepts. We know when two lines are parallel, then the alternate interior angles are equal and the corresponding angles are also equal. Now here L and M are two parallel lines. And N is this transversal. Then the alternate interior angles 1 and 2 are equal to each other. So I'll be using this concept to show you how to draw parallel lines. Let's start. Now using a ruler, we draw the given line. and we name it L. We take a point A which is not on the line. This condition was also given. Now we take another point B on the line and join this. So join points A and B. Next, we take a compass and with the opening of the compass, this is called the radius. So with a convenient radius and the pointer on B, we draw an arc. Can you see? We draw an arc. And we mark this point C on AB. Where the arc cuts the line L at point C and line AB at point D. Now with that same radius and center A, we draw another arc, okay? Same radius. And the arc is EF, which cuts AB at G. This is the point G. Now this distance, AC, We take that as the radius and we G as center and that radius DC, we draw another arc here and name it H. Now, if you observe, this GH and DC are same. Now, let us draw the line joining H and A to draw the line M. Now we observe this angle and this angle is same, equal. They are also the interior opposite angles. Let us name it one and two. And I'm highlighting it, the angles. So these are also interior opposite angles. And they're equal to each other. So hence L and M are parallel to each other. Okay, now let's go through it once again. First, I drew the line L. Next, with B, the line L is given and the point A not on it. That is also the given condition. So we take another point B on the line and join AB. Okay, this AB is joined. Now what we do, we draw an angle here, this angle, and we take another angle this side, such that they are, in, they are interior opposite angles. And if we can prove they are equal, then the line through A will be parallel to L. So first we took 
B as the center, center. And then, the, as I told you, the opening of the compass is called the radius. So with any convenient radius, don't take it too big or too small, a convenient radius and you withdraw this arc, cutting the line L at C and A, B at D. So with that same radius, center A, we draw another arc EF. This is E, this is F. So we draw another arc EF. Now see, I can, as you know, I can draw the arc here also, here also, anywhere, isn't it? You can draw the arc or you can complete the circle with your compass. But I have drawn on this side, why? Because I want to prove that Interior opposite angles are equal. You can prove in two different ways. You can use the corresponding angles are equal method or this concept also, alternate interior angles method. So here, since I'm going to prove that alternate interior angles are equal, so I draw the arc on this side. So AB is actually considered as the transversal here. I hope now it's clear to you. So as I draw this arc, EF cutting AB at G. Now, if I can prove that CD, this angle, angle CBD is equal to angle GAH, that means the measure CD, this CD and this must be equal. So, what I do, I take this as the radius, that's the opening of the compass, and I place it on G and I mark it draw an arc here so and name it h so gh and cd are same this angle and i draw the line through h join and join a and extend it to get the line m now i observe that angle a b c and b a h are equal but they're also alternate interior angles. Hence, we can say that L and M, the line L and line M are parallel. I hope it's clear to you. So I had used the concept of interior angles of parallel lines. When two lines are parallel, the interior angles are equal. That concept I've used to construct the parallel line. I hope that's clear to you. Thank you.